What's going on everybody? Poke the Monster here and today we're doing another episode on Worth It or Not and today is the day we take a look at two older tins which is going to be the Kyogre and the Septile EX tins. So stay tuned and hopefully we can get some wicked pulls. Let's go. All right, so let's take a look. We're going to start off with the Kyogre EX box and hopefully we can get something worth it. So retail price on these box originally was $19.99. <clears throat> And then clearly as things normally get older, they'll get more expensive. But $19.99, this is the first time you're seeing me open up one of these two tins, or actually both of these tins. So this is new for me. And uh, hopefully we can get something really good out of it. Because, uh, I don't know, I've got mixed, mixed feelings about some of these boxes that we've been opening up. Mainly that Sun and Moon booster box. But hopefully it's not going to be too bad and... Uh, we can get some wicked pulls. Let me just get some sleeves out because I do not have this card at all. So this is a new one for me. There we go. Kyogre EX. Very cool card. Very, very cool. Nice card. All right. So that's there. Then we've got the code for it, which is going to be worth a decent amount as well. And then we've got, as always, four booster packs. So we've got Primal Clash, which, by the way, yes, they are reprinting. Another Primal Clash, Phantom Forces, and Furious Fists. So those are the four packs we've got in this wonderful tin. Let's get them cracked open, and hopefully we can get some awesome pulls. So we're going to start things off with the Furious Fist and see what we can get. Uh, so the prices are already going to start. They're already up there in the upper right-hand corner. Furious Fist. Two, three. Wow, these cards seem really thin. Much thinner than normal. But there's the five bulk cards that we will be receiving, obviously, per pack. And let's see what we can get. Let's get this all set up. All right, so Vigoroth, Raichu, a so uh, Sail Fossil. Mountain Ring is our reverse holographic. Very cool stadium card and our rare card is a jinx non-hollow nothing crazy uh, actually nothing crazy at all i mean the mountain ring reverse hollow is probably the most valuable card out of all of that all right let's step into some phantom forces and hopefully get something a little bit better all right there's the code one two three and two and we've got those five Bolt cards, pop those on the side. All right. So this pack's going to start off with a gold bat and then an awesome enhanced hammer. Double colorless energy. Woohoo. Reverse holographic is a detonate. And our rare card. <sighs> Galventula. Sure, we'll go with that. Galventula is our non-holographic rare but guys we still have two more primal clashes so let's hope we can uh clash on and get something awesome one two three and two and the five scrap cards i guess you could say right yeah yeah i guess right all right so we got an energy retrieval a silo Ooh, Professor Birch's observ um, Observation. Wow, completely destroyed that one. Uh, reverse Holographic, which is an awesome card. And our rare card! First Holographic of the box. All right, so we got a Huntail uh, Holographic Rare. Awesome card. That is a first for me once again, and this is awesome. Nice. Very, very nice. All right, final pack. Hopefully we can get some last pack magic, because we really need it right about Meow. Final code, and bam. So we've got, there you go, some Torchic, a whole bunch of other good fun stuff. But this is the last pack. Can we get an EX? So we got a Scorched Earth, a Electrike, a Bundlebee, or Bunnelbee, sure. Reverse Holographic is a Tynamo. Tanamo, sure, we'll go with that. And our rare card is a Beedrill. Nothing crazy whatsoever. 
but it's all right. We got one holographic from all of these so far. So let's just take all of those, pop them over to the side and get on to the next tin, which is going to be the Septile tin. All right. So let's cut this guy cut open. All right. Hopefully this tin can be a little bit better. So each one of these being $19.99, $20 total value for these two tins is $40. So that's our target price that we want to beat is $40. And I don't know how we're doing so far, but I, if I had to take a guess, I'd say we're probably not doing too well. But there's the awesome looking Septile EX card. That is an incredible looking card. All right, we're going to pop them right back there. And then we've got the Septile code. And then, ooh, I like what I'm seeing right off the bat. Right off the bat, we've got a Roaring Skies pack. Another Roaring Skies pack. A Primal Clash and a Phantom Forces. All right, sweet. We got two Roaring Skies. I didn't know that. I actually got two more of these tins. So that means I've got four more Roaring Skies packs hidden in there. Shaman, maybe? Shaman would totally make that would that would one single shaman, even a uh, regular, a not a full art, would be covering the whole cost of this entire opening, which would be freaking awesome. Uh, of course, as it breaks apart on me. All right, here we go. Code for Phantom Forces one, two, three, and two. Pop those to the side. Those were the five, uh, the five, uh, Sweet baby Jesus can't speak. Bulk cards, I guess you could say. All right. And then we've got a trick coin to start things off, followed by a Schwana. Then we've got a Wobbuffet. <laughs> Reverse holographic is a Wobbuffet. And our first rare card is a holographic Dancy or Diancy. My apologies. Diancy is our holographic rare first card that we get. Very cool. Pop them right back there next to the Huntail. Next pack is going to be a Primal Clash. All right. Primal Clash. Code to the side. 30 more cents. And then, here you go. There's your bulk. Okay. Let's see what we can get. First card in is a Dive Ball. Very nice. Then we've got a Tentacool. I haven't seen a tentacle in a really long time. Holy crap. Very cool looking tentacle. Then we've got a Vibrava or Vibrava. Then we've got a Bindoof or Bidoof. Sorry. Bidoof. Reverse holographic. And our rare card is an Azumaro non holo. All right, guys. Who we open up first? Who we open up? Dioxus or Latios? We'll go with Dioxus. Are we feeling a shaman? Are we feeling it? Code? Wow, these cards are so much darker. So much darker. It's crazy. All right, so, whoa, four? Nope, five. Okay, I thought I saw four for a second. All right, so... So we're looking for verse seekers are worth a lot. Trainer males are worth a lot. So let's, let's see if we can get some of these. We got an Altaria. A Rayquaza Spirit Link. Steven, a Bagon reverse holographic, and our first rare card is a Zapdos non holographic. <sighs> All right. Shaman. Come on, Megalatios. Don't fail me. Please don't fail me. Ooh, this fell up. This ripped apart real easy. I don't know if it was too easy. Okay. So there we go. There's the bulk. And this is the last card. Last pack, I should say, not last card. All right, so we got a Gallade Spirit Link. Electrode. A Double Dragon Energy. Reverse Holographic is a Cascoon. And our final rare card! Uh, I'm sick. Of, nope. I'm done. 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 I hate the bannets. Why do I have to get a freaking bannet? Really? Out of all the cards to get, I get a freaking bannet. All right, guys. So if I had to take a wild guess, because I have no idea what the total value is on everything, I'm going to have to say that we failed. We definitely failed this time around. 
But guys, I hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up, which is on the bottom right of the screen or on the bottom right, I guess, area from the the, the image that you're currently watching. But <laughs> all right, till next time, any comments or questions, leave them down below. Over there is going to be the subscribe button. Over there is going to be a previous video. And always till next time, peace out, everybody. <laughs>